In this video, I'm going to work through the 10 questions that say, write each verbal phrase as an algebraic expression. This is number one through 10 on the first exam's review sheet. So the first one says, the sum of four and a number. So sum means we're gonna add, and what are we adding together? Well, four and a number. So we're gonna say four plus a number. And recall that it doesn't matter what variable you use here. N is fine, because N usually stands for number, but you can just as easily use X or Y or P or whatever you want. So number two says, six less than a number. So we have this word than in here, and remember that when you have the word than, you gotta switch around the order. So six less than a number will be six less than some number. So it'll end up being N minus six. For number three, we have the product of three and the square of a number. So product means multiply, and what is it that we're multiplying? We're multiplying three and the square of a number. So three times by the square of a number just means the number squared, and we're going to multiply these together. So you can put a dot for multiplication, or if you want to, you can just put them right next to each other because that means multiplication. So three in squared, and that will be the product of three and the square of our number. Number four says, the quotient of seven and the difference of a number in two. So we know we're gonna be taking the quotient, which means divide, so I'm gonna use my fraction bar right here. And what is it that we're dividing? Well, we have seven and a difference. So I'm gonna put seven on top, and my difference is gonna go below, which is a subtraction problem. And difference of a number in two. So the difference of a number and two. So it's seven divided by the quantity in minus two. So this is the quotient of seven and the difference of a number in two. Number five says the sum of twice a number and six. So again, sum means we're gonna add. And what are we adding? Twice a number and six. So twice a number is gonna be two times that number and then six. So we have two in plus six. Okay, number six says four more than a number. So again, here's that word than, and more than means we're gonna add it, so it's four more than a number. So n plus four is gonna be the answer for number six. Moving along, we have seven says nine increased by a number cubed. So increased by means we're gonna to add to it, so it's gonna be nine, now we're gonna to add to nine a number cubed. So a number cubed right there. So n to the power of three we can say is a number cubed. Number eight says the product of the sum of a number in six and the difference of a number in six. So we've got a product and what are we taking the product of? Well, we have our factors here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them in parentheses or if you're not sure if they should go in parentheses first, you can just put a dot for multiplication. But then when you start building each one of the factors, you're gonna see that they're quantities and you're gonna to need to put parentheses around them. So what is this first factor here that we're multiplying? It's the sum of a number and six. So sum means add, and it'll be a number and six. So n plus six. And the second one is the difference of a number and six. And difference means subtract. So we have the difference of our number in six. So there's our answer for number eight is the quantity n plus six times the quantity n minus six. So moving on, we have number nine which says the quotient of nine increased by a number and the product of five and the number. So we've got quotients, so we've got this division bar going on again because we're gonna divide two things. And what are we dividing? It's nine increased by a number, so we can say nine increased by a number, and the other part is the product of five and the number. So the product of five and the number. So the quotient of nine increased by a number, and the product of five and the number. Okay, and here's the last one, number 10. The difference of three times a number, and the quotient of the number in four. So we've got a difference, so then we're gonna subtract. We have three times a number, 
and the quotient of the number in 4. And quotient means divide, so here's the number and 4 that we're dividing. So the difference of 3 times a number and the quotient of the number in 4. So those are the answers for the first 10 problems on your review sheet.